This way. <sighs> So anyway, these two logs that we did, so last year, Tony did like 90% of the splitting, 95% of the splitting. And those two were two of the logs that she couldn't get split. And I guess I probably should have showed you all the, all the split, the ax marks in there where she, she was hitting it with the splitter. So it's nice to see this thing here will split those bad boys no problem yep uh, it's just such a blessing so a little a little information we got this at Home Depot it's a 27 ton champion but check this out guys it was reconditioned so what happened is a homeowner bought it for a thousand forty nine dollars which was our price our price up here for the 27 ton champion splitter <clears throat> and it went back to Home Depot because something happened so Home Depot then sends it out to repair and brand and then after it goes out for repair it comes back in they marked it down to $849 and on their they call it recon Right, so if you're ever in Home Depot, look at Recon, look on the sticker, it'll have a date. And it's usually like every uh, four, five, six weeks past that date that they'll mark it down again. So we got this almost 50% off. We got it for $549, right? So that's what, 73% off or 57% uh, um, um, off, something like that? I can find out, hold on. Yeah, tag says 50%. Close enough. But anyway, look. And when these splitters went out, or when they came back in with insider information, I probably will get fired for telling you this. <coughs> if they find out about it. But So don't tell anybody at Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, in Ponderay, Idaho. <laughs> So, when, when they came back, I was talking to the mechanic, and he said, the problem was, with five of the six splitters that went out for repair, they were low on fluids. So, that means it was low on oil and low on hydraulic fluid, which means it won't operate. When you're low on oil, it has low oil cut off, so it won't operate, so the homeowner just brings it back. So five out of the six, that was the problem with them. Or four out of the six, I'm sorry. One blew a hydraulic hose and one needed a new carburetor. To us, it made sense to pick it up, even if this is the one who was low on fluids, even if it was a bad carburetor, you can pick up a carburetor for 20 bucks. They're cheap. Hydraulic hoses up here, they're, they're kind of mediocre. They're not cheap, but you don't, they're not super high pressure, so you're not paying the big dollars for them. And to us, it was just so worth it, especially for Tony, because she did 95% of the wood last year. I did a little bit, but I bucked it all up for her. Sorry, I just gotta mention real quick, the chainsaw you bought me. Yeah. So now, you guys don't even know, I haven't even shown that on video yet, but last, on my last birthday last year, Stuart bought me my own chainsaw. And he's going to be showing me how to buck the wood, too. So between the two of us bucking wood, and now we have this, we're or, going to be able to pump it out. Or how not to buck wood. <laughs> I'm, not not a, I'm not a professional. I'll be watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I want her to watch YouTube videos on what to do and what not to do. Don't listen to hubby. Hubby's just 
Hubby can show you his pants and his chaps and his boots. And I don't have any of those. <laughs> where, where my 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 saw chain is hit. Hey, I still I still got my all my appendages. I'm happy. But no, she's gonna get. We're gonna get her some chaps. We got an extra helmet with the earmuffs and. What are you doing, Gabby? With the earmuffs and face guard. So. Anyway, yeah. So she got a chainsaw. So now while I'm off at work. I'm gonna be cracking the whip on her. You gotta get, you gotta get one cord bucked and split today. You gotta to get six cords bucked and split today. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So anyway, there you guys have it. New addition to the homestead. Super excited. Ask questions. I'll give you all the insider information I have. Cause time is short. Wow. Did you guys just see what happened? No, you didn't. It's the next day. We had to take a minute, but we're gonna rewind. And we, when you see this, you can't really see the full effect of what happened, but it could have been tragic. We, and the funny thing is, we know better. We've been unloading trucks for a really long time. We know we should have used some come along or straps or something but it could have been horrible and thank god Tony's okay she's she's amazing and that's I, I don't have any words I have no words to say I don't just here rewind go <laughs> Honey. Okay, you need to go um, this way. Got it. Oh, okay, you two. Can you get it? Let go. Did you guys see that? Just right as I was losing control, I felt that I was losing control, or not losing control, just losing grip. And I told her to move, and just as I say move, it slips. And she took the whole part of the ram right here on the neck. And we stood over there, I don't know if you could see, we stood over there for like five minutes. She's, she got dizzy. At first she had a hard time breathing. We had to get her to start breathing correctly. And then we got her inside and sat her down. And she's doing great now. She's better, not better. She took a hell of a hit from that ram. She'll be okay. That hurt. She's the most badass woman I know. <laughs> I Now I know what it feels like to get punched in the throat. So. There you have it. See you guys. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a great day. Peace. <laughs>